Welcome, beautiful souls. This is Ascended Stars, Ali Jade with you, doing your You Have Options in Life reading for September 2020. Uh, welcome to my channel, uh, newcomers and um, all alike. Thank you for checking me out. And I just want to let you know September is a very critical month, meaning that we self-criticize and self-analyze and... Um, you know we kind of diminish our dreams if they're not perfect so this energy is about you know open yourself up to the options that the universe presents yourself with don't stay fixated on how you need it to come to you okay so now with that being said i'd like you to imagine well yes you can imagine you can imagine it bring it to you or you can um ideally have options already now when i say options we're talking love and so let's see what we have okay and you might put in your past your present and your future or you know someone you're currently connecting with someone from the past and someone from the future it all is up to you or you might be just having three people you are interacting with on a current basis and so when i um you can put each option okay or you could just select one of three up to you here we go option one Option two, option three. All right, so we're gonna move these off the table for now and do option one. Hang tight as I gather all this, all pre-selected, so we don't have to, um, we can eliminate some time here. We can save time. This is the idea. All right, so let's go into it, my loves. This is the Apocalypse deck. If you pick option one, we're going to see what this is going to lead to, what you're looking at, uh, potentials, and energies. So, thank you, universe, for helping us out here, giving us opportunities in life, so we don't, so we can grow to our highest, our highest selves, who are meant to be while well incarnated. All right, so here we go. What do we have, my beautiful Leos? Option one. What is, what's happening with option one? That might be a clarifier. Not sure yet. Okay, let's see. We have the Hierophant, highly spiritual connection, okay? We have Prince of Wands, really desiring this, going for it. You're, you, the, you're some, the, the Leo energy is seeking a spiritual connection, and they know what they want because here it is, a Nine of Cups energy saying, I know what I want. I know how to seek it. I know how to get it. Um, well, not that I know how to get, excuse me, let me back up on that. That's not, that wasn't the quite intention. Let me see the rest of the cards before I intrude on really, but there's a, such a, there's such a, a, um, an angst, like a, an impulsivity and there's an impulsivity to go for what you want. Yet your, your higher self is guiding you to really take it easy, slow and easy could, it, it is, is the best approach. Princess of Wands. Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands. Many of you have already mastered um, your masculine and your feminine initiation energies, which I find is going to be quite useful for you because Mars is going to go retrograde on September 9th. So um, for you to have those two balance off in your own persona is going to be very helpful. Oh my God. Oh my God. So in this deck, oh Leo, this is so great. This is not only, um, if you pick option one, I want you to also think of opportunities in work, okay? So also it's saying here that the Hierophant means that you are highly spiritual right now. So if you work in the spiritual realms, you might get a, a, your dream job of, if, you, if you take the, the steps to do it. Now I am guided to say September 9th, it, it's, it's going to slow down. So from this point on, you have nine days, eight days to go on the internet and interact and, and try to um, contact somebody that's looking for a spiritual 
work if you if that's what you do okay and i know i have a beautiful leo energy out there that is like that okay because you got the all gifted and and, and this was my intention for these readings i said because love and money are the same thing so if you your options sometimes it's going to come in like that's an opportunity for money or sometimes it's going to come in that's an opportunity for love this is an all-round excellent opportunity this is like a portal window open for you you have um, both energies, princess of wands, princess of prince of wands here to, to help uh, initiate everything going forward. So anything you need done, it's like you're very capable and able and suited to deal with it. It's almost like like a glove energy made for just for you. You're you're perfect for it. It's this energy that's divine. You got the all gifted here in this special deck. Be a pop. A pop apocalypse deck i was not using this but this is coming out a lot this card the all gifted i figured that i would just stick it into in there because it belongs with the deck and also because we do have this empress energy so of creativity of moving forward of being able to to make things manifest and this is really where you're at if you picked option one yes it's your time the wheel is turning okay you are definitely on your place to where you need to be in life Awesome. Seven of Swords. Oh, but you're still letting go of some things. Yeah. Now, now we got the darkness here. And um, it's your the only thing stopping you is yourself. We have an eclipse energy here. Something's got to be... So you got to leave something behind to bring in this energy, okay? And even when you leave it behind, which maybe you, some of you have already done, uh, you're not taking action. You're healing. You're not taking action because you're healing. Now we definitely need clarifiers for that. You're healing. Yeah, you're healing. The star energy, okay? This is a, you're, because a wish come true is coming. Like you really wanted that. You've been wanting this and it's been very challenging for you to get this. Um, and the most challenging part is that you release because you're a fixed energy. So you're fixed on something that it really isn't suited for you. It, it needed to go a long time ago. Like this, the eclipses have passed. They had the, um, so now you're kind of stuck in, in like, um, a revving engine and energy and you have everything here in your toolbox, but it's like, you're watching it from a distance. Because you didn't make the moves at the right time when you needed to. You didn't act at the right um, opportunity. So now, and, and obviously because you needed to heal. You needed to heal. You just, you're recognizing there's still more healing in order for you to really make this happen. You're not capable of making every little nook and cranny, all the calibers, all the, the little, you know, I feel like it's a clock. It's clockwork. I feel it, like it's inside the clock. You know how everything ticks and all the little dials go and everything's just perfect. And um, it could be the sense of also that you needed perfection. You needed it to be perfect. And now you're coming to the place where you 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 need to make peace with, with what you have and move forward. And, and that you're realizing, you know what? I already have everything in my toolbox, but I wasn't seeing it that way. Yeah. All right. So there's a lot of challenge with option one because you're ready. Everything is beautiful about option one, except that you're, um, it, okay. Let me just tell you what I sense here with option one is that there is this impulsivity energy. Okay. You, you would, you feel like you have everything in place. And it looks like it is moving forward. But on the on the underbelly, the unconscious energy here is you still have some letting go. You're hold you're still hold on holding on to something that is unhealthy. Um and, and, and that keeps you from this growth. Okay. I also have to tell you, Leo, that everybody sees your talent, everybody sees who you are, everybody sees that you are a star, that you can shine as bright as you want only you you see how her face is looking down only you don't you don't um believe it you don't own it okay this is this is i pretty much like i've already been coining the term own it with with the empress energy you know uh being creative and then owning it but you're not owning it like you know 
both of these are looking to the side. They're not taking ownership of the of this. Because why? Because they think they're going to take ownership of the crap that they've done as well in the past. And somehow it's tied to them. Somehow it's it's stained. It's like a stain. Like, you know, you, you're looking for bleach or something. But nobody can see this. It's very interesting. Okay. Um, all right. So let's. I don't want to read into this too much because then it's going to take away from my other reads. So let's get into the um, the advice and what, what they're trying to tell us with the uh, other energy here. What kind of connection or, or lesson will you learn? Yeah, you're in a great denial. You're in denial of your power, okay? Um, because you're. it seems like you're wallowing in your self-doubt and you have to, some healing to do. The orange energy is about... Um, far away places to me in a way because Tibet is far away from us unless you're in Tibet <laughs> thank you for watching <laughs> um, but it, it, uh, Tibet to me is, it represents the monks that wear the orange color and they meditate all day and they're isolated in the mountain so this is uh, maybe you need isolation Maybe you need contemplation. This Four of Swords energy is my um, going. You went through a hard time here. Four of Swords energy. You went through a hard time. Uh, you you you're gonna be brought to consequences, brought to things because whether if you got away with something, like you're still in denial, or something's gonna bring you to your consequences, you know, or the guilt just has you just completely stuck from from progressing. Okay. So, yeah, you're, you're, this is uh, opportunity one. Option one is not going to help you progress. You're not uh, moving forward. You're not, it's not, it, you're stuck. There's a stuck energy. You see, it's stagnant. The baby's not going through the birth canal. It says birthing, okay? The baby's not going through the birth canal. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So option one, um, this is not growing because you're not able to tune into your emotions, because there's still healing to do. Uh, whether you speak low of yourself, think lowly of yourself, or you accept the people talking down, or you do this to others, um, this is something that you that, that, that needs to be mended, okay? And that's why you have the Hierophant. It's about connecting more spiritually and believing in yourself, you know? Not having, like, doubt that you're going to get what you... See, they're both orange, okay? The, you, when you uh, surrender and you live in service... Okay, the, the, the Tibetans and the, the, the monks live in service, meditating. Um, nobody's putting a gun to their head to do it. They do it from their free will. So something here about you not relinquishing something freely, your will not relinquishing something that you thought it should be like, this is a fixed energy, energy I'm getting, where because Taurus is fixed too. So um, you're, 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 you, want, you want it the way that you want it, or you're very angry that God and the, the powers above haven't given you your justice or whatever you feel you deserve or need or how you just you know so there's this like also ego energy and this is orange too if you think about it so there is um intention okay intention is a very important thing if we don't ha hold our highest intention for ourselves and for others uh there's something and there's orange in here or it's red death okay death of that energy is coming so this is not a very a positive option for you okay and so what do we have for advice moving forward if perhaps this option has already been done <laughs> I'll take it learn to express your emotions learn to com um, communicate uh, don't react you know if you're if, if it's if it's too if it like sparks uh, triggers you if it triggers you then uh, hold back your energy and learn to collect your emotional self first before you speak. So um, there's always an opportunity to connect with somebody. Like, you know, like usually it's family members that we have these conflicts over and over, looping over. So this is what I'm picking up with you. So if you learn to uh, express yourself and, and then become a better communicator, but first you have to get a grip of the emotion that gets you triggered. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Um, if this is an energy of 
taking, taking, taking. So this is like passive aggressive energy, I would say. So this connection it could lead to a lot of this passive aggressive energy where you're not really growing. You're just like tit for tat. I'm going to get him for this. He did that. They did this. Da, da, da. So this is energy that's not going to help you grow. You're going to be looping, looping. And that's not what we want. So it's going to take a higher strength and courage to be the, um, you know, to be the more of the, the, the higher person in there. You know, oftentimes I have to remind um, certain individuals that I have in my life that you are the adult in this. You're not the, the child, but you're acting like the child. And I often have to remind them and say, look who you're talking to. Why do you go down to their level when you're the adult? And this is... Um, a lack of being able to trust because trust has been kind of taken from under you like it was like the rug taken under you and you you've done so well surviving leo and doing well for yourself but this is like the last thing that you need to kind of figure out to bring in that love that you truly want or the connection or the bond and you have to look at how when you have to have compassion to your parents okay they might not have been the smartest, the best, the easiest, the most loving, whatever. But it, it, once you start that compassion, then you can have compassion for yourself. And then you can have compassion for others. Because this is a fifth house about your childhood. And if it's not your parents, it's, it's maybe the grandparents who brought you up. You know, it's that parental image. And they did it like very old. And so that you're like, the, you're very like stagnant because you can't, you, you can't grow from that energy. Okay, and you've learned to repress things, and so now you have to learn to express things. All right, that's what we have for you on that one. Now we're going to go to option two, right? Let's do option two. Robert Hansen deck, and I can't remember this name of this one for the life of me, but it's a great deck. All right, so let's do Robert Hansen deck and see option two. If you picked option two... What kind of a storytelling do we have for that, <laughs> Leo? <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Option two. So let's see for Leo what the story is if you wanted to um, attach the name, the person, the situation, I will let you know how this may play out. All right. First, we have the Page of Rods, the World card, Major Arcana, Page of Pentacles, Ooh, Three of Swords, the Hermit, another Major Arcana, Three of Pentacles, another major arcana the hierophant's making a scene on, on the scene at almost in everything the empress and the hangman you have a lot of major arcanas you have one two three four five okay so this is like life-changing if you do this thing all right this is very challenging too um wow okay I, I need clarifiers right away. Hold on. There is some heavy energy. Five, yeah, five major arcanas. That was not the best shuffle. Hold on. See why the the world card is here again so you got the world twice for the three of swords as a clarifier super interesting all right um let me just wow okay we got major stuck energy you know the Pisces, uh, Neptune, the hangman is stuck energy. And it looks like someone's not moving through. You know, they're not moving through this next world energy, like, because they don't want to let go. Again, we got some let, letting go energy. We got some um, fixed energy. And then Taurus is here again. Taurus is fixed. That's why I say that. So is Leo. Um, all right. And we have a, the world card. So.
this person is pretty much going for it they're gonna offer you they're gonna make an offer okay so this person is pretty much going for it it, it, it seems a little bit premature though this energy like seems like it could be premature and maybe that's why you're so hesitant and it's breaking your heart that um why why is this hierophant with the three of swords here oh i don't think this is truly who you want i think that this person is another hermit card oh my god what is this trip out okay um Okay, so if you if you pick option two, this person is a very in a very introspective time. They might be a Virgo themselves, and they are uh, dealing with their heartache, and they're going to be moving into a very productive and um, successful time. But they're in a time of healing right now. This person's a hard worker. They have the Empress energy with. With them they're able and capable and ready to create and it seems like they're going through this cave energy of um, being introspective and and you know just hang, hanging out not moving not making any action you're not so you're not taking this person not taking any action and they're just um, working they're working a lot they're working a lot they just want to work they just want to they, they want to collaborate for work you might have met this person at work this person wants marriage they want commitment okay so they're not really moving unless they feel that you're gonna they're not gonna make a move unless they feel like it's gonna be towards commitment and I think Leo you're just catching on to that now and um, and so this or you're gonna be involved you're going to be recognizing this and you're going to perhaps want to spend more time energy effort like grooming them <sighs> or it's like i feel like you whispering in their ear you know like you're just trying to convince them that you know let's start something let's do something let's be together you know like that's the energy i pick up but i feel this person is just not they're not listening they're not really yeah the energy of waiting you've been waiting for this person to kind of see you as this uh reciprocal energy of going for it but there are there's here they, they have had a broken heart in the past so they're guarded their heart is very guarded okay right here this was the clarifier for the three of swords they are guarding their heart they're not moving into another energy because they're they're going through introspection and and um and and healing the heart actually because the heart is really here so they have to heal it they they they, they got effed up like they 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 know they know their value, but so they're waiting for somebody who's gonna value them as as truly who they are. Okay, and you're this. I'm sorry, Leo, but this energy that you're feeding them or you're trying to come in towards them is heartbreaking to them because it's not serious and it it's not filled with commitment. In the back of their of their agenda, they want true commitment in marriage. Okay, and they're not gonna they're stubborn because this is Virgo and you know they know what they want. They've done their work on themselves. So this is um, basically what I got for you there. Now let's see what the other ones say regarding this connection, if you choose it or not. Keep an open mind, okay? So this person is closed off because they're still healing. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Uh, so this could be either... This could this information could be either for you or for them. Either they think that about you or you think that about them. You got two of these. Um, I don't know what I can't remember the name of the deck, but anyway, uh, not knowledge. So this person needs to get to know you more, and they they want more intellect. They're very smart. Virgo people are, are talkative. Um, they know a little about everything. They're very health involved. Usually, a lot of them are nurses, caregivers, and um, very productive people. Busy bees. So they, they, they have they know a little of everything so they, they like knowledge they like uh, words they like so maybe like either you or this person needs to build up their power their self-esteem again because it's been kind of uh, well it has definitely been um, treaded on and and broken hearted so don't forget someone's coming in from a broken heart 
and they're yeah so they, they basically this is a good option but it's going to take time for them to come to balance either you or them and it says i bring a state of per perfect harmony into my world i do so without judgment yes um this person is is, is a very nice person and they, they just healing okay and maybe that your attraction and it's going to take a, a little bit of, of time and they have to just open their mind up to 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 the, accept you and so you're going to have to like i said i did get that energy of whispering in the ear like this is kind of again like you're gonna like if you I, my advice to you is if you uh find out what their interests are and start teaching yourself because you know um leo energy is very good of, of, about that you also have to harness your own power because this is about leo energy courage to harness your own power and maybe you need to balance a little bit more before you hit up this person who's little more sensitive about the guarded guarded is the word they're guarded all right so now we have option three yeah yeah we got options baby all right so whoever you thought of for option three we're gonna move forward and see what that is with the gilded the gilded tarot all right so let's check it out for you and move forward with that let's move these aside and Leo, option three. What we have here. What do we have for Leo if they chose option three? Spirit. Thank you kindly. Wow. All right, we'll just take that. Those, we'll take it. Do not mind more messages if we need them if we need them all right let's take a look option three it says somebody's in uh, energy of not moving forward and neptune is retrograde right now this is very um much energy of escapism as well so somebody could be drinking too much know about this energy for you not a very good one knight of wands this person seems to be a player and they seem to be a drinker and they seem to not have healed from a situation from the past and you are really um empowered you're really coming to your power and you attract it's almost like you're it's almost like you're the firefly attracting mosquitoes <laughs> that's what i'm picking up wheel of fortune yeah your 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 um your energy is shifting to bring in some really awesome things towards you because i almost feel like a chariot energy when i see this and the high priestess wow wow this person is going after you because they see you as everything this person is is coming at you i think a complete the, the complete wrong way they might be healing from a broken heart and not really um acknowledging that or this person might be a past person that already broke your heart you remember i did say that so this could person already might have broken your heart and they might be very confused they might be on drugs or they um I, i'm picking up that they got that they gave you an excuse that they got drunk and got together with somebody you know that they they, they slept with someone because they were drunk so this person has a lack of maturity really because who would say that who you know who does that i mean yeah we do that we all do that <laughs> no but i mean it's like it, for the real if they if this person was the real you know like if this person really respected you and saw you as the empress they wouldn't be doing that so they just don't have control of themselves it seems like they don't have um the maturity that's all i can say okay let's move on that's probably we have these extra cards okay got it uh yeah so this is taking this is going to take you on an emotional journey if you pick option three because you're you're going the, the empress is up here the empress is up here and this person is like down here so you'd have to go down to their level to just hang out with them and that's i i never i suggest i do not suggest that to anyone you have to know your energy you have to know you know um the pigs and the swine <laughs> go with the mud not you know not with the with the giraffes and the horses so I, I, I just feel like um, you have so much abundance, Leo. Um, 
for option three you have so much coming to you you actually have notability no notab i can't say the word notability notability Not notoriety notoriety is the word that's why i can't say it notoriety like like it's almost like the star energy like you're very magnetic like you can get whatever you want you just put your mind to it whoever this person that you're thinking of they they're very um it's like if you're going towards this person you're not in all your power okay and this person is in all their power or you're in all their power and this person that's coming to you is not right um, so and you're you're about to like whoever this is for you're about to burst out and, and just really uh, get into your groove you're you know you're the the empress the wheel of fortune and the high priestess so you're out you're in a really good timing okay but it's like okay this is interesting because the timing is off there's a lot it seems like there is a lot of attraction okay there is a lot of sexual chemistry but the timing's off. All right um this person could be delusional they, they they dream they could be a dreamy person they could be flighty like i said they just make excuses they don't they don't take accountability they don't have uh they, they're never on time all right so this person um is so opposite of what you are because you're very business oriented you know what you want you know how to handle things um it's like you're babysitting this person okay it's like a wait you're gonna take on a this is yeah this is somebody from your past they're coming in so you're coming you're, you're if you decide to go with this it's like man you're gonna be babysitting and you don't forget the baby uh, bag don't forget the baby bottle don't forget the diapers you know that's the energy i pick up if you decide to go with this person four of wands page of wands four of cups so what they're saying is you know your heart is really good you're a good person you have a good heart okay and this person is impulsive they're immature they're not able to reach your level page of wands four of cups don't take this offer don't take it it's not worth it it's not it's not it's not going to help you grow you're going to go backwards you're going to be carrying that baby back for what another 10 years and it's a grown child sorry that's the only metaphor i could use but that's what i got okay let's see what else you got here heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other i'm telling you this stuff is so great it doesn't lie we have options if you don't explore your options if you don't start looking at things more directly and see who people really are you're going to start you're going to suffer the consequences confidence this person doesn't have the confidence that you do they, they can't carry their head high and, and look people in the eye even i feel like they're just not there health be careful this person be, these people who are insecure and go for stuff like this they're screwing everybody your health is compromised if they're doing that you know they're trying to uh it's called narcissistic supply this thing that's you know people who are, have low self-esteem they gather a lot of like basically i'm just going to say if you're carrying the empress energy which comes out here right right i'm not going crazy the empress energy is here bye bye am empress okay it takes about seven to ten women or men to cover one empress all right so in today's society somebody's going to be having and it's still it, it actually does happen actually so anyway it doesn't matter i mean i'm not you're not going to stop people from doing this but you're 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 they need to in order to have they want you but since they can't have you they have to have seven others to just make up one of you you're compromising your health if you decide to go for this okay so that's i know this is a silly message but that's what's coming in all right that's all i got for you guys and um i wish you the best much love and light and i'm going to leave you with um this is not an option just end it like this i'm gonna try to end it like this because the other ones i didn't we got two of the mystical oracle deck mystical wisdom cheer up live in the moment okay so things are coming to you could be very emotional all that water there so you know scorpio i mean leo i don't know why i said scorpio i just did scorpio but all this water really does remind me of some scorpio energy here i just feel yeah i feel like emotions run deep for you leo this month 
and um, you're just gonna have to tread lightly and you're, you're dealing a lot with emotional stuff things that that are gonna make you cry suddenly and even I'm doing this on the on the full moon so because of the energy of Pisces it's a watery so you might be dealing a lot with females um, and a lot with hus like hysterical energy to be honest with you I'm picking that up too so you you don't let that don't let other people's don't be be reactive let them just you know it's like give people enough ribbon enough rope to just express themselves because you love to express yourself and you know how you roar and you can express yourself and sing allow people that on the other on the other paradigm of just you know falling apart and whatever but then you know be a presence because i feel like you just have to be a presence or you need somebody just to be a presence for you because you have a lot of things spent um tied up emotion by like inside of you that need to be released dancing might be very conducive for you and singing is great for the vagus nerve so um it helps all right so here we go knowledge seek knowledge yeah some of you are need to get help you need to find out what's 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 the issue whatever it is so or you just might be going back to school and that might help build your confidence um and help you uh heal yourself too because i feel like there's some healing that needs to be tied up all right just just for you leo that was the um little extra much love and light i hope everything goes well have a great one till next time bye bye